Bitcoin may be ready for a bounce to 8300 in my opinion. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today, I'd like to discuss Bitcoin and the possibility and probability of Bitcoin finding a bounce up into the $8,000 and potentially $8,300 region. Right now, we've been in the midst of a heinous sell-off, and I am seeing pressure here from the bears, so I want to discuss the possibility possibility of a bounce up and the possibility of a continuation from the bears here in the short term. So as a full-time trader, I'd like to discuss with you my strategy, my game plan, and how I plan to crush this market right now in the immediate term. So without any further ado, you guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell. And let's get this crypto. Moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Moon them up. All right. So we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. And of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and observations on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading, as this market is extremely high risk, and I am not your financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. Being said, let's begin right here on the four-hour time frame. I mean, this sell-off has been ruthless, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a borderline debacle if you do in fact ask me so there is some some things to look at here one let's discuss the bearish outlook here obviously we've had our waterfall a cascading waterfall which has led us now into what potentially looks to me ladies and gentlemen like a little bit of a bear flag right a classic bearish pattern here where if we take our flag pole down right take it to the bottom of the consolidation range we have our tentative choppy little flag here and if we clone our flag pulled down for a tentative measured move to the downside drag this over to the breakdown point and look at where it goes ladies and gentlemen we'll zoom out here to the daily and what we're seeing is an absolute confluence here with our 0 0.382 Fibonacci retracement and our historic price action support here all the way down at about 6800 uh, this is what you want to see when you're extrapolating patterns. You want to see and find confluence here. Also, on the RSI on the daily time frame, also more confluence here for the bears. We are still right now on a savage bearish divergence here on the one day RSI, right? And even if we are to bounce up, say, to the $8,300 region, which I'm going to get into in just a moment, say we do bounce, right? It's very possible that we bounce and still either respect this trend line for more bearish divergence or uh, even just get up. It doesn't have to respect the trend line is what I'm trying to say. We could find more bearish divergence getting up to even just a level like this before continuing down, right? As long as it's below this region here, we're still on a bearish divergence when the price is moving higher, but the RSI is not creating higher highs. Capiche? Let's get this crypto. Now, uh, back here to the four hour time frame. So uh, what we're seeing here as well, uh, just to finish up here with the bearish first. We can see that this level here that's tentatively forming our flag uh, has acted as old consolidation here in the past, right? Three separate times we had a lot of, co of uh, consolidation, that's the word I'm looking for, all within this range here, right? And right now... Although we, we appear to be creating support, it is a little bit iffy because if you notice where this support is, it's within this red box here, right? Whereas all the support over here is above the red box, right? Not much going on down here. All of that action was up above the box and all of the action over here is inside the box. Uh, just another bearish confluence that I'm seeing here as well. Okay, so this was my bearish overview here, uh, and my target for that measured move would be at about 6,800, tentatively going to test our 0.382 Fibonacci. Let's get this crypto. Now, let's discuss the possibility here of a break to the upside, right? So, just like I was showing you all here that this this flag zone for our tentative bear flag may actually be resistance, right, as we're trading below 
the top of the box. All the action is inside here. This is still being held as a support for the time being. And we do see that there's many wicks inside this box. So although the majority of the trading action was above the box, there was a lot of wicking action down here that was respected and upheld on the rise, right? So I can't discredit it. We are holding the zone now. After dropping below the box, we did find a, a, a retest up into here and we have been holding it can be looked at as as bullish right uh let's flip on a moving average here on the four hour time frame we bounced down perfectly to the 200 moving average found a nice bounce and a wick right off that level and we've began to consolidate here uh when we look at our four hour rsi what we can see here is that we went into an oversold condition all the way down here and we are finding our way out of this trench right now right also symbolic that we may see further upside action here on the rsi right uh if we go back out now we can see that we don't really have too much of a problem Let's get rid of this RSI here. We don't see too much of a problem in terms of resistance in this range either. So if we are to break above this box, right, somewhere above the, say, the 7900 region, right, uh, for me, ladies and gentlemen, it wouldn't be out of the ordinary at all for Bitcoin to potentially shoot through this range and look to test the underbelly of this box here, which you can see, per my analysis, appears to be nearly a 6% move to the upside, coinciding with roughly the $8,300 level. Now, uh, this does get a little bit dicey here because if we flip on the the daily time frame ladies and gentlemen uh things to me are starting to look just a little bit more uh grim in the terms of this this uptrend right uh because what we can see here is that this parabolic trend surely has exhausted itself uh not that it can't go parabolic again right bitcoin can surely go parabolic again but for me ladies and gentlemen it appears that this parabola, this one move in particular, has has ran out of its parabolic steam here. That doesn't mean that the uptrend has to be over. It just means that when we're looking at this, right, uh, this action that we're seeing here, all in this range, is very different than the action that we saw on the, the impulse parabola to the upside, right? Uh, it's just very clear to see, right? We weren't seeing any consolidation. We weren't seeing any massive uh, dumps or sustained sell-offs. And all up inside this range, we've now created a rising wedge, which is a, a classic bearish pattern, which did in fact break to the downside. Uh, and we are now, depending upon how you want to look at it, right, either forming a bear flag here, uh, that could look to test down or we are creating support upon old consolidation uh, and looking to retest to the upside for me though uh, guys you see this level here right this whole zone here for me is going to be very very difficult uh, to pass I actually want to put a we're gonna put another box here and we'll make this we'll make it pink so it's just a little bit different than the red box underneath it because for me that is going to be extreme extreme resistance ladies and gentlemen let's go back here on the four hour now uh, we have essentially a double layer of resistance for me here right I hope that you guys can see that if we do bounce right let's put on our moving average again if we do get the bounce off this level we break above 7900 and we do get that clear sailing for uh, you know a tentatively six percent move or so all the way up to 8300 uh the higher we move here the more and more resistance we are upcoming upon in my opinion and it's going to be very difficult here uh, especially now that there's a little bit of panic in the market that the parabola may be ending right uh this market has scarred a lot of traders a lot of people don't want to get caught holding the bag again right ladies and gentlemen many right fool me once jokes jokes on me right fool you twice wh whatever the saying is you know what i'm talking about the thing is is that many people don't want to be left as the loser here right Everybody has has learned the hard way in this market and right now this trend is beginning to look like something that average Joe and James at the water cooler are getting a little afraid about right 
Um, the thing is here is that Average Joe and James at the water cooler, they don't like to buy dips, right? They don't like to see things retrace. It's just normal. I mean, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, the way that you have to look at this, ladies and gentlemen, is when I reference the, the fictional characters, right? Like Average Joe and, and James at the water cooler. I'm talking about people that don't trade actively, right? They don't even invest actively. They're very casual onlookers that when things go parabolic they they fomo in right oh i gotta go i gotta get in i gotta get in or i'm gonna miss it i'm gonna miss it and when they get in who's left after them right if all of the active traders are already in all of the active investors are already in and then you get james at the water cooler oh oh right re-downloading the apps that he deleted because he he was a degenerate and lost all of his capital in the first place and couldn't stand to look at his crypto app anymore, right? Redownloads it and FOMO's in at the top. Who's left to buy after him, right? That's that's the mentality behind why you get parabola like this and then why you get sell-offs because once all of those people are in, where is the buy pressure to push it higher, right? And from someone like me that's looking at this very realistically, uh, you know, as an active trader here, I certainly am not seeing value in buying in these conditions up here, right? And of course, I mean, it was correct as we saw a sell-off harshly, right? I was speculating further to the upside on a trade from this region and was looking to get out, and I did. Uh, I kept you all updated in my VIP with uh, my trades there. I wound up playing this to the upside, taking profits before this dump, and now I'm awaiting my next trade. And I'm going to keep you all updated with my next trade in VIP exclusively. Shout out to all my VIPs and all my new future VIPs joining VIP right after this video. I will see you in VIP right now. Uh, but the fact of the matter is here, ladies and gentlemen, is that once those people are in, right, and there's no more of that FOMO, uh, you know, parabolic, uh, euphoria, I guess, is the way to put it. The markets generally tend to see a pullback, right? So the, the fact of the matter is here is I believe that even if we do get one last push up here, right, and we get to this double layer of, of resistance, I believe anywhere up in this region, ladies and gentlemen, is fair game to stick in a macro double top region, right, to clone this whole region right here, form a double top, and then we look to plunge for a healthy correction into the crypto abyss down to our potential point 382 Fibonacci for our measured move on our bear flag, right? Or potentially even overshoot it a bit down to the point 5 Fib, which would also be completely healthy in my opinion with historic price action and the Fibonacci retracements, the daily RSI at that point right, may look to get into oversold conditions that would then be fair game to look for a bounce to the upside, right? Uh, all of this to me is very, very healthy in terms of this market pulling back and maintaining a bullish macro structure. Uh, that's, that's the whole thing, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let the intraday price action uh, mess with your mind, right? Because what's going to happen here, in my opinion, is that if we get rejected here, uh, or we just plunge through here, the same people that were FOMOing into the parabola that bought the top, right? They panic the most, right? They buy the top and then they sell for a loss. And when they start selling for a loss, this is when you get the waterfalls, right? And they make the parabola happen equally as fast on the way down, right? Because they were buying it mindlessly. Gotta buy, gotta buy, gotta buy. And then on the way down, gotta sell, gotta sell, gotta sell and they plunge it just as fast as they ripped it, right? You, you understand that's why these shapes are created. The same people making it go up like this are the same people that make it go down like this. It's insane, but that's why this market is so juicy. That is why there's opportunity for traders like myself, traders like you that are here to crush this market and get this crypto. And when these traders that lose, ladies and gentlemen, these traders that have a moon boy mentality, that sip H2O out of a cone-shaped cup, 
These are the ones that provide the opportunities for me and you to crush it and get this crypto. And once I see that these opportunities arise here, ladies and gentlemen, you best believe Don Don Carbonaccio will be keeping you all up to date in VIP with every single trade I make, every strategy I formulate, and every plan that I plot. I will be posting it exclusively for you in VIP. If you're not in VIP already, ladies and gentlemen, what are you doing? Seriously, what, what are you doing here, right? Watching these videos, smashing those thumbs, mooning the likes, subscribing and ticking the little bell, but you're not in VIP yet? Sheesh, ladies and gentlemen. Sheesh. <laughs> but if you are just tuning in now, for real, don't forget to moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. I'm fired up. I know you guys see what I'm talking about here, right? Either way that this breaks, we're probably going to have, if we break to the upside, a very nice 5% plus move to the upside, in my opinion, right? It's just speculation. I can't, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't prove this is going to happen. But I see anywhere, if we break to the upside, from a roughly, you know, 5 to 6% move to a 7% move to potentially, you know, a moon to put in a, a, a sick double top, maybe 10%, right? And this, to me, also would be a very healthy bearish pattern. We we don't see any more buy pressure up at this region. And then we look to plunge and retest our healthy levels, ladies and gentlemen. Healthy. Don't let the, the number of 6,000 fool your mind that this doesn't have to be healthy, right? Maybe it's not, right? Maybe we, we plunge down through here, right? Then it's not healthy, in my opinion. Then it, it all changes, right? Analysis is only as good. Uh up to the moment that everything changes, right? Because for me now, this is my hypothesis, if we drop into this region, that it can still be a healthy uptrend and bullish macro structure. But if we break below, uh, it all it goes right out the window, right? And my analysis changes. Uh, you know, as a savvy full-time trader, I'm ready to change my analysis and plot my strategy here to take advantage of what happens when in fact the, the plan changes, right? You have to be unbiased in these markets, ladies and gentlemen. You must be willing to change your plans on the fly, adjust to ever-changing market conditions, because if you only keep a static mentality, you're going to get crushed. Crushed. And there's only two types of players in these markets, ladies and gentlemen. One, those that do the crushing, and two, those that get crushed. Don Don Carbonaccio does not like to get crushed, ladies and gentlemen. When I formulate my plans, I plan to succeed. If you fail to plan, then your plan is to fail. I say it all the time, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. If you fail to plan, then your plan is to fail. You need a plan for all of these scenarios, right? As you can see, I'm ready for if we move back up to the top here around around 9,000. I'm ready if we move up to about 8,300. I'm ready if we bear flag and break down. I hope that we all understand. And also if we break down, I'm, I'm prepared for these levels here at you know roughly 6,800 at the FIB. I'm prepared if we break lower for potentially 6,000 at the FIB. This is all, this is the type of stuff, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that uh, you know on a daily basis, me showing you uh, how my mind is working to navigate these heinous markets here uh, and look to crush it, right? I hope that you're seeing how I'm formulating my strategies here uh, and how I'm prepared to crush the market. Uh, and guys, like I said, if you're not already in VIP, I keep you updated there 24-7 with all of my strategies, all of my trades, right? Every play that I take, I post for you exclusively there in VIP. Uh, every entry, every target, every exit, every take profit, when I move my stop losses up, etc., etc. All of that is posted exclusively for you in VIP. I can only do these streams here once a day on YouTube. So as the market moves heinously, I'm updating you in VIP where uh, here on YouTube, I can only do it, uh, you know, before or after the fact. So uh, if you want the real time updates 24 seven around the clock, that is what you get from me in VIP as I tentatively look to crush these markets, right? So I'll keep you updated with all my plans there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the market is very, very poised for a huge move uh, right now, in my opinion, as, as you can see, I have the percentage there at about 10% potentially to the upside uh, with, you know, even just 
short-term targets here to the downside of just the same, if not even more. Uh, critical, critical area here. Absolutely savage. Uh, and right now, if you're not prepared to crush it. Uh, the, the, the problem here for me, ladies and gentlemen, is that many are going to get burned. Uh, my words of wisdom here, please do not be getting caught like a deer in the headlights. Do not be sipping the H2O out of the cone-shaped cup with Average Joe and James the water cooler. It's time to crush this market, ladies and gentlemen, for real. It's time, it's time to transform yourself from Average Joe into Savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. All right, I'm gonna be keeping you all updated in VIP with my plans, strategies, entries, exits, targets, trades, positions, everything, ladies and gentlemen, exclusively for you in VIP. I'm ready to crush this market. Are you? The choice is yours. Being said, ladies and gentlemen, I will see all of you in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs and shout out to all of my new future VIPs joining right now after this video. I will see you in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs. And guys, if you could one last time, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Uh, guys, prepare for fireworks. I'm ready. Are you? <laughs> so until next time, guys, I'll see you all in VIP and be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs.